Hello and welcome everyone. I am the crazy dentist and I want to show you today what will happen to Northgard in the next month, uh, what you can look for, uh, forward to and yeah, just basically what will happen until the release uh, that is planned onto February because uh, the developers just uh, published their roadmap and yeah, some on some uh, yeah, maybe some of you don't know about it so uh, yeah I'm just gonna read over it maybe uh, drop a few thoughts of myself over it and yeah I think we're just gonna go over to it so you can see it too yeah this is the roadmap uh, you can just read it out on Steam if you wanna uh, read it again but yeah I'm just gonna go over it and yeah you're just gonna know everything about it so if you just watch this video you don't really need to go over it again because yeah I'm gonna read it so we're just gonna start and uh, so hey guys we're uh, we're so glad to see that you adopted the clan of the boar yeah we did <laughs> we know you cannot wait for new stuff coming into Northgar yeah I'm, I'm quite calm with that, but okay. <laughs> As the official release approaches, it seemed uh, important to give you an overview what's coming in the game for the last phase of early access. And I actually think that's quite cool, so we have a nice overview what will come in the next month and actually think, yeah, that's great help. Uh, yeah, I just wanna turn down the music a little bit because I think I'm a little bit too silent for this. Uh, yeah. So, uh, until the multiplayer patch that will come in December, uh, we've identified a few problems and bugs uh, with the current version of the game and we're working on solve these. So, uh, until the multiplayer patch in December, there will only be bug fixing, there will be no uh, new content will be released. What all I actually think is quite cool, the developers always need to, uh, if developers don't take time, to get bugs out of the game like you know you have a problem on top and, and there's uh, it feels cool like to get always uh, new content 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 but you know, like uh, yeah I don't know I come from other games like I played CSGO quite a lot and yeah there were quite a problem that bug fixing were never really high and new content were much higher resolved so it's quite cool to see the developers taking their time to fix some bugs don't see it like they're just taking like a break or something like they're they're taking their time to make the game better and that's great man that's really great so in December there will be the big multiplayer patch so uh, yeah this update will introduce something that many of you are dedicated servers it will happen it will happen and it's not long anymore. Those servers will hopefully grant you more stable and less laggy games, solving the issues of host disconnecting. That will actually be great, I will be loving this, playing on dedicated servers, it's really cool. I never thought they could, uh, yeah, do this in this amount of time, because usually dedicated servers are quite hard to get, man, and I thought like, okay, Better, better get used to lagging, man, because, yeah, in other games, like, they never solve it, and they're out for years, and, yeah, it's really cool seeing them to really care about that. Uh, gives me a lot of hope, gives me a lot of hope. Uh, yeah, so let's go back. Uh, yeah, we'll add many more things to uh, make the experience more fun and intuitive. Uh, the possibility to choose a difficult, uh, choose a different difficulty for Northgard as the environment and for each AI individually so you don't uh, yeah that's more like for PvE players you know so you know you, and just right now you can just put the game on normal and the AI will be normal and the environment will be on normal difficulty too and you can't choose it di uh, differently you can not play against an easy AI on a hard map that's not possible right now but it will be possible that's quite cool for the PvE players I guess there are some around there and yeah just a cool uh, addition if you struggle like to get hard AI done, yeah, then you will have it better. But yeah, the possibility to kick someone from the lobby, you won't be able to join again. That's quite important uh, for the King and Yala games. Uh, yeah, there's sometimes trolls in there that try to ruin the game. I don't know if you saw it sometimes, like, uh, yeah, when we're playing. Uh, sometimes villagers will just join, or not even just villagers, like everything, and uh, that's... Uh, 
in games where just Yals and Kings, it's like in the title everywhere you can see it. That's only King and Yal games, and they just start uh, banging the join button, and yeah, no one else can join because of that. That's not cool. Uh, yeah, and they won't be able to join again. What will solve that problem? Uh, yeah, players leaving a game will be replaced by an AI. That's cool. It's still not like if the ga player leaves in the start of the game. I don't hope. I think it won't happen that mo uh, much anymore because they are dedicated servers. And yeah, players just won't disconnect that much anymore. But yeah, still not cool to have an AI in your team if your player is gone, you know. Yeah, it's like, obviously it's way better than having nothing. So AI is good, but yeah, that's the thing. Uh, yeah, in this patch we plan to entirely revisit the trade victory. More information uh, about it will soon come. We'll uh, also add some other small things that we're missing in the game. Yeah, that were cool. Uh, some things that I would really ask for, but I don't think that they uh, included in that would be a spectator's mode, man. Spectator's mode is like really, for me, for me it's like here. Here, here, even here, here, <laughs> as spectator mode, because I really think it's really important so we can start ca casting matches and everything. And yeah, really show that Northgard has some, at least some esports in it. Uh, I, I wouldn't say, like, it doesn't have to be esports, man. Like, it just needs to be a little bit competitive play to bring a little bit of life in the multiplayer scene, you know? Like, the players would say, ah, I want to go better than him and something. And it's, it's really bringing life into it. Of course, there's, there's, there will be some toxicity uh, about this when players uh, when players want to fight to be the best. Like There's going to be some salt involved. But uh, yeah, I really think that gets the community alive. And i just going to say that one time in that video. I really think that a, a rank system would benefit a lot in Northgard, but yeah, I have some time for that. I have some time for that. I'm not stressing that out, but I really think it is quite important. So, uh, in January, we will have the first campaign update that will be quite big. Uh, yeah, because I actually have no idea about the, uh, about the campaign, how it will look like. Of course, you can like think about what it will be, and they dropped some hints. So uh, just gonna read it through. Uh, this campaign will tell a story about a young Viking war chief and his quest for colonizing Northgard. The player will meet each clan after uh, the other, interact with them. Not all of them have good intentions. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I get you. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite hyped for this because yeah, it will be quite a new uh, campaign. Of course, you will see that on my YouTube channel. I will of course be a little serious about the campaign. Yeah, maybe maybe a bigger one. I don't know. I don't know how fi fast I'm through it. No, you know, <laughs> let's see uh, how hard it is. Uh, yeah, what it actually is. It, I'm quite hyped for that. Maybe. I can't imagine how long if this one campaign chapter is played through in half an hour. I wouldn't actually think so. I would think it would take a little bit longer. But we're just going to see that. It's going to be great. January. Be hyped for that. Uh, yeah. Some changes with the UI and key binding will also be implemented at this time. So I think key binding is binding keys to buildings. <laughs> really cool. I would really appreciate that, even if it's something else. This can just be something good. It's key binding, man. Oh, it's key binding. Oh, it's just like you can choose your own keys. Wait, that is. Bam! Nice. Not that. Uh, yeah. The early. Uh, after that, after the January, it should be the end of the early exit period. Uh, yeah. That's actually it. Actually, we should be through the early access period then and should be in release. Uh, we intend to fully release Northgard in February uh, to March 2018. This is an objective, not a certain uh, certainty. So, yeah, of course, if they want to take some time more, uh, they should just take some time more. I really... Do you know Gothic 3? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, the period of time between January update date and the official release will be dedicated on solving every little problem that we identify. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Really cool bug fixing and everything. Uh, yeah. And after the release, they already promised Northgard after this official release. <laughs> the official launch uh, of the game will not meet the end of uh, new features edition. And we're looking into adding new clans, gameplay me mechanics, etc. What would you like to see uh, added into the game? Tell us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually told what I would love to uh, be implemented in the game. I'm not too much of a. I can't say. A, don't know how I say it. I'm not too. To, to content addicted, you know, like if you give me a new clan every <laughs> every three months, every half a year, I will be happy. That's that's so much already. So you know, uh, for an RTS, it's kind of repetitive, of course. But uh, yeah, if you really love RTSs, you really like that uh, repetitive, uh, yeah type of that <laughs> uh, play and I don't know uh, I don't get too bored by just playing one one type of clan if I have good matches if I play against high rank players that up playing against is really fun with so uh, yeah I don't have any problem to play 100 matches of goat against somebody uh, when we're playing good matches and they're really high level and I don't need to play 20 games of each other clan then but it's cool of course it's cool but uh, yeah I'm more like the game uh, the guy like yeah let's let's take that what we have and let's let's make it perfect man let's make it totally fun uh, yeah but I don't think that uh, the developers are so off with their thinking uh, yeah I really like the game so uh, they're doing a lot of things right definitely uh, I actually think I do most of the things right. I can't say too. Uh, yeah, I can't say anything bad about it. Uh, really cool that they showed us this uh, road. How is it called? Uh, this, the road map uh, until the early access because yeah, really cool to know what their uh, their plans with the games are. Um, really cool to have the first campaign actually added. Really hyped about that. Um, yeah, kicking players out. They they listen to the community. It's not like uh, they would not listen to anything. It's really great. Uh, it shows that they are different than much developers. <laughs> Don't want to shit talk on other games here. It's not really my style. But I really love it when I see that developers uh, really love their game and they want to get into it and yeah, just... I already get a f gave a thump at some point to Shiro Games, but right here a thump for me. Uh, yeah, nice heart here. Mm, can't wait for the actual release. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna close out this video here right now. Uh, yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want so. Uh, yeah, if not, it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, have a great day, everyone. Um, yeah, see you maybe back on the next video. Yeah. So, bye bye, everyone, and have a great day. <laughs> Ciao.